first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number one on the topic cone so now we are going to learn introduction about this so in this video what are all the things that we are going to learn is what is called as cone and how the cone looks like as well as every time before learning a cone we always learn the sector so what is the reason for learning the sector and then what why we are going with cone so all these steps we are going to learn in this video and after learning a cone in each and every question most of the question they always compare cone volume with the cylinder so what is the reason of comparing cone and cylinder so everything we are going to learn in this introduction video and remember one thing it's a second topic so the first topic what i have taught in my youtube channel is cube and cuboid as well as we have solved many question on both this area cube and cuboid area right so these are the topics that comes under in quantitative aptitude called the measurement so under this measurement topic we have two session one is area as well as volume so in area square rectangle circle most of the questions i have completed in area so in volume i have completed the first topic that is cube and cuboid so now we are entering into the second topic called cone as well as cylinder so now in this video we are going to learn about the cone right so now what is called a sector so friends just listen here we know it's a circle right in a circle so this alone is called as a sector one part right one region is called as a sector so just listen here I can rub this right so this this is called a sector so this sector has been derived from a circle got it so if it is a sector we know if, if it is a circle we know this will be the radius so similarly these two lines are the radius of the sector remember one thing just keep a note when when you join these two radius assume that it's a paper right so when you fold these two radius right when you fold the two radius and connect each other it becomes the cone so friends understood or not right so if you cut this cone and if you open the area then it becomes in the shape understood so only every time before learning a cone we are learning about the sector right a sector if you join these two radius of a sector that becomes the shape of the cone understood or not so that's the reason before learning a cone we are learning about the sectors right so this radius right when you join these two radius so this radius becomes the l length of the cone that is a slant height so l is nothing but the slant height understood so this will be the slant height of the cone so now h will be the normal height of the cone right and r will be the radius so always if it is a cone right if it is a cone then this will be the slanting height and this center height will be the height of the cone right and there will be a circle at the bottom so for this circle there will be a radius understood so that is called as a radius of the circle so three things are important one is l slant height second is h height of the cone and r will be the radius of the bottom circle of the cone understood so next thing where how this cone has been formed only from the sector only from the sector right the cone has been made understood or not right so now entering into the formulas of the cone so there are three important formula one is a curved surface area right so curved surface area and the second will be total surface area and the third will be the volume of the cone right volume of cone so only for this volume of cone for, there is a formula right you, you can buy out this easily but remember one thing most of the students will learn all the properties of the cone that is not needed why because if you are preparing for a competitive exams learn only the formula you don't want to know how this formula has been derived that is completely waste of time so instead of learning all those stuff better buy out the formulas what is the curved surface area of the cone formula pi rl so similarly what is the total surface area of the cone as well as volume of the cone so only for this formula volume of the cone they always compare this volume of the cone with the cylinder so learn this concept alone why the volume of the cone has been comparing with the volume of cylinder right so if you learn this it, it is like most of the question they always compare cone with cylinder i will talk about this later on right so first let me talk about the curved surface area and the total surface area formula so first what is called as curved surface area and what is called as total surface area so if you take this cone right 
so curved surface area so this region right so this complete curved surface area is called as this surrounded region right only this surrounded region is called as a curved surface area what about the total surface area this surrounded region just listen here this surrounded region as well as this base circle area is called as a total surface area so friends understood if you take a curved surface area only this part is called as a curved surface area total surface area will be this part as well as the base part in the base you can able to see a circle so both the areas so this area as well as a bottom area resultant will be the total surface area if they ask only a curved surface area you should not take this bottom area only this area is called as a curved surface area understood friends so the formula for curved surface area will be pi rl understood so curved surface area is equals to pi rl so you don't want to learn how this formula derived it is completely waste of time because we are not learning for the schooling right we have we are learning for the competitive exams if you are learning for the school stuff then we need to learn all the properties how the formula has been derived everything but if you are going for any competitive exams it is better to buy at the formula and know only the concept of it right so curved surface area formula will be pi rl and the second will be total surface area so total surface area what i have told you for the total surface area so the curve the top area which is called as curved surface area as well as the bottom area right so curved surface area what we found is pi rl plus understood so this will be curved surface area plus the area of the circle area of the circle is pi r square so most of the books they will say this as a total surface area or else they will take pi r as a common right when you take pi r common so l plus r understood or not so this will be total surface area understood so this is called as curved surface area formula pi rl and this will be the total surface area formula so these are the two formulas are important in the topic cone so now entering into the concept called the volume of a cone right so before that you need to know this angle will be 90 degree right so this angle right this angle will be 90 degree so always remember you know one thing right if it is a triangle in a triangle concept if one angle is 90 degree then it is called what then it is called as a right angle triangle if it is a right angle triangle you have to know what is called as pythagoras theorem so pythagoras theorem is nothing but let me take a b c so what is called as Pythagoras theorem? So A is equal to root of B square plus C square. So similarly, here L will be the slant height, that is slope A. And this will be the height of the cone and this will be the radius of the cone. Similar concept, right? You can able to see this is in the form of a right angle triangle. Got it? So in order to find the value of L is equals to, so square root of H square plus R square. Understood? So this in order to find the value of L. In case if you need to find the value of H, then we can easily derive from the formula, right? So that's it about uh, these three formulas. So now entering into the concept called volume of cone. So the formula is, just see, volume of cone formula will be 1 by 3 pi r square H. This is the formula for volume of cone, 1 by 3 pi r square H. But remember one thing, why in most of the questions, they are comparing the volume of the cone with the cylinder just let me uh, I'm just uh, drawing the code in the inverted way right so this will be cylinder just listen carefully right so here in the cone the radius and the cylinder radius both are same so similarly the cone height as well as the cylinder height both are same right so if there are two structures like this, a cone radius as well as a cylinder radius is same, height of the cone as well as height of the cylinder is same. So just important concept, never forget this concept, right? So in, in order to fill the cylinder with water, for example, I'm saying in order to fill this water in a cylinder, it requires three times the volume. If you fill water with the cone and pour it into the cylinder, it takes three times. So three times the volume of the cone is equals to one times the volume of the cylinder so friends understood never forget this so only they usually say in the ratio 3 is to 1 so why they are saying this as 3 is to 1 because 3 times the volume of the cone is equal to one time the volume of the cylinder so friends understood or not right so three times if you fill this cone and pour the water into the cylinder only then the cylinder will get filled 
So three times the volume of cone is required to fill one cylinder. Understood? So only they are saying it's a ratio 3 is to 1. So now how this formula has been derived, I will tell you how the formula has been derived. Just see here. So three times the volume, right? So three times the volume of cone is equal to one time the volume of cylinder. So volume of cylinder will be pi r square h. Got it? So now volume of cone is equals to 1 by 3. When you bring this 3 towards right hand side, it becomes 1 by 3 pi r square h. Understood? So this is the way they have derived a formula. Volume of the cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h. So never forget this important thing because in most of the cat level questions or some difficult level exams questions you can be able to see this concept only if you know this concept three times the volume of the cone is equal to one time the volume of the cylinder right if both the radius as well as height are same understood so that's it about uh, this uh, cone i think most probably 90 percentage of the concept i have explained in this video there are so many formulas right in order to find out to find this theta there is a formula and uh, in order to find the r there is a formula so you don't want to learn all those stuffs now because while solving a question we can learn all those stuffs but now what are all the things you need to remember before solving a question in the cone is so first why we have learned a sector and then why we have learned a code the main reason is if you join the sector part that is a radius of both the sectors it becomes in the form of cone right never forget that so only this from a sector a cone has been made got it so now you need to know what is called as l which is called as a slant height and height of the cone and r will be the radius got it and then after this uh, you need to know one angle will be 90 degree if one angle of a triangle is 90 degree then it is called as a right angle triangle if it is a right angle triangle so we can easily find one of these values by using a pythagoras theorem so l is equal to root of h square plus r square got it so those formulas are for about the cone and then we have learned three important formula curved surface area and then total surface area as well as the volume of the cone so first curved surface area so if you take a cone the curved surface area will be only the surrounded part right only the surrounded part is called as a curved surface area so if they are asking what is called as total surface area this surrounded part as well as the bottom circle part so resultant will be the total surface area so that's what i have written here so this will be the uh, curved surface area and then plus the area of the circle at the bottom so pi r square most of the books they will consider this as a formula or else they will simplify in this way and they will say this is the total surface area formula so both are correct got it so two formulas and then the last formula will be volume of the cone so you need to remember it why the volume of the cone is compared with volume of the cylinder so if radius and height of cone and volume are same remember that three times the volume of the cone will be equal to one time the volume of the cylinder got it so never forget that concept so only we are saying that the volume of the cone will be 1 by 3 pi r square h so pi r square h will be the volume of cylinder so i have told you how this 1 by 3 has been kept so final formula will be 1 by 3 pi r square h so that's it from the next video that is in from the lesson number two we can start solving some of the uh, basic level question and then some difficult level questions and then we can go with some memory based question that was asked in the previous exams so that you can able to feel how this cone concept is easy so after learning a cone we can learn cylinder and then after learning cylinder we can solve some of the questions from cone as well as cylinder right so we can uh, learn in a step by step way so that it will be very much easy to capture the concepts as well as in order to solve the questions even if it's a difficult question you, you will feel definitely comfortable right so so that's it about this lesson number one on the topic cone so don't forget to follow our instagram channel so follow our instagram channel you will get a regular updates about the exams as well as test series everything right? so thank you so much for watching this video so if you really like it share the video to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams so thank you so much bye